I'd like to speak just briefly about um, the suggestion that this is a one in a hundred year floodplain. I've lived in Bayview for 25 years and I've had boats there for another 25. And Scotty, uh, my neighbor, owned the mercantile for years. And there were twice while he owned that property that I stood there and watched water flow into the mercantile on one side and out the other. You know, the, the fact of the matter is, is that culvert at the post office is insufficient to handle the, the flood. I don't know if you want to address that at all, but the water already cannot get through the culvert that is on the perimeter road and the post office. And the flooding has already occurred. If you talk to any of the people that are my age or older, they will all tell you the same thing. It's the town is flooded all the time. And, and having taught for 30 years, I want to know, I know if I, when I lived in Washington a million years ago, when someone was going to build a subdivision, they had to pick up all the improvements in the infrastructure. It wasn't dumped on the people that already owned property there. My biggest concern as a teacher is, if you put 26 homes in there, who's paying for an additional classroom or two at Apple School? And knowing the rooms at Apple School, there aren't two rooms there. So you're either going to have to buy a portable or build onto the building. Thank you. Thank you.